I could look upon this sky for all eternity, if t'wasn't for the crick in my neck. Keep gazing upward and you're like to stumble there long. I felt certain I would find you here, Arith. What's this? Only pawns? What's that dullard playing? I suppose it's all the same. The car goes all I need to get the job done. Drink. Could do with a proper meal. What was that? Fine. Now I'm jumping at shadows. We're under attack! Don't just stand there! Protect the cart! Drive the fiends back! Your swift return, Master. A fell unease begins to gnaw at me when you are gone over long. I suppose all we can do is wait. How fair my fine passengers this evening. Don't know why I'm asking, you never answer me. Suppose you'll just have to listen then. You pawns are afraid. They say you'll do whatever the prison says. Offer no complaint, quarrel, and you're undying to boot. You're well suited as slaves, if you ask me. Truth be told, I've lost count of how many of you I've transported these past few days. Still not the faintest idea what they do with you, or where they take you after I drop you off. I've ne'er seen one of you return. That says a lot. As some would tell it, you're serving as targets for new recruits undergoing spear training. Others say your lifeblood is squeezed out like juice from a grape to be offered to the Empress of Vitar. <laughs> Did that scare you, baby? No mind. It was all in jest. It's not like I know the truth of it, anyhow. Not like I care, either. As long as I get my coin, I'm a happy man. I'm not fussed what else. Uh, 
Apologies, Master, but you will have to make do without us for the time being. Bolt, we're inspecting your cargo. Open up. I hear they follow whatever command they're given. Aye, and they'll take any beating without a word of complaint. Let's see for ourselves. Sorry, my hands. How'd you like that? <laughs> Built rather tough. Eh? You going to fight back? They may be undying, but they do seem ha! to know. They're just hey. taking it. What a ball! Just like hit That's me. it. Stop. Enough! That's valuable merchandise you're toying with. Worth more than your wages combined. Have you prepared the cargo we're to carry alongside them? No. Well, get a move on. We're off. Tis a ladder. On your knees, worthless vessels! Wait! You're not a pawn. We've an intruder in our midst! To arms! What you need of me? What would you ask of me? We've made it then. What's our first order of business, Arisen? I have no issue falling at... <sighs> Night time already? I thought it was rather dark. Shall we check our packs and be off? Shall we get underway?
You have my fullest confidence. Has there been some development, Your Majesty? Well, now. You have divined the Oxcast's destination, then. I see. So they were procuring pawns in order to carry out this excavation. The stuff you mention is most curious. It sounds as if tis of the same make as the jewel wielded by the Queen Regent's puppet. I had heard pawns face much prejudice in Batal, yet to hear that they are treated as tools to be discarded and given such perilous tasks, tis contemptible indeed. Volcanic Island has long been part of Batal's territory. The Lake of Lava present there is revered for its flames, which are sacred to the Batali people. Perhaps it would be considered blasphemy to give such work to their own. Or could this simply be a means of testing the efficacy of these jewels that allow for the control of pawns? I can offer naught but conjecture. For now, we ought to aim our efforts towards proving that a member of the Vermundian court has been selling pawns. Should we succeed, even the Queen Regent herself could not deflect the people's displeasure. She would doubtless lose their... You have my gratitude, Your Majesty. The evidence you have gathered shall form the stalwart pillar upon which our rightful claim will rest. It is most valuable. So pray, exercise the utmost care when deciding how it ought to be used. At last, the score is settled. But in the world before this, we failed to incriminate the Queen Regent, you see. A resounding success! 